Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we'll talk about Docker container networking. I mean, how the Docker containers are able to talk to each other and how the networking is happening in the Docker containers. Okay. So we'll talk about two different modes, host mode networking and bridge mode networking. Talking before that, we can actually have a quick recap of what we have done in the previous video. So we actually try to run this particular Jenkins command. Uh, just to, so what it is doing is it is actually installing the Jenkins and doing the port mapping. So once this is done, what we would be able to do is we would, we would be able to see Jenkins running on port 8080 of the host and port 8080 of the container, right? So this is another example of what we are doing is a port mapping. Jenkins is the image. It is actually pulling this image because this is not available locally. So it is pulling this image from the Docker Hub and then we are running that image so it will create a container runtime environment for us and we would be able to access it here. It will take some time so meanwhile I think uh, we can start talking about Docker networking then we will see come back to this. So we are creating containers and they are able to talk to it. they will be able to talk to one another till now we haven't done that kind of thing. We are just creating a single container, we are exposing a port and we are able to just access the application from that, okay? So there are two different kind of networking. Uh, we'll talk about single host versus uh, multi-host networking, okay? So here, uh, host mode networking and bridge mode networking. So we'll just go with a simple example, right? So what we are doing is first what uh, we are creating a container from the busy box image okay and now we are able to ping that container right so if you just try to see this command so what actually it is doing is it is actually creating container and then we are actually trying to access that container docker exec is nothing but we are trying to access some command on the container you are doing ping google.com right and you will see that you are able to access that particular container and when you inspect that container you see that that container is is having some some IP assigned to it. Okay, so let let me just see this. I'll just cancel this. So what we are doing is unable to find this busybox image. It will actually install it. Now, once this image is pulled, which will be easy, we are actually creating container. Now you can see we are able to ping. That means this container is also able to talk to the public network we are able to ping google.com right so what we are trying to do is by default container or host will get an ip address that will be able to communicate with other containers on same host or with other host machines right we are getting some ip is getting assigned to you right so so the docker containers finds another container by its name or by its IP address could be assigned dynamically at the container startup runtime environment. Okay. So container is a single host could also communicate and reach to outside world, which is we are doing it. We have a single container and this container we actually accessing the single container running the ping command and it is able to talk to the outside world, right? We are doing ping on the google.com, right? Now, if you try to inspect this particular container, then you will see uh, the I, I mean the network configuration for this particular container if you can see this network bridge uh, network ID and all assigned to this you will also see the IPs assigned somewhere it's a very big configuration okay so here in the network settings you will be able to see the bridge sandbox and IP address uh, that should be in the network setting state image host config wait a second yeah here you can see gateway and the IP address for this particular container is here right so individual containers are getting IP assigned to this you can actually ping this particular container from the IP also this container is accessible Okay, if you are running a web server, your users must be able to reach to a particular port and then in that case we actually do the port mapping like if I just try to run this command which we are already running earlier. Right, so latest it will try to download it and then it will run it. So in that case, 
this nginx image should be able to reply to 808 port right we are doing the port mapping and you can also access this nginx directly from uh, http 0.0.0.0 colon 8080 okay and we should be able to talk to the containers okay coming back here i mean you can just run the nginx container and you will be able to access it so nginx is actually a web server we have created and it is exposing port 80 and from port 8080 we are able to talk to that container that container also open to the world it is having the ip assigned to it okay so this is a kind of single host mode networking where this container is getting ip assigned and it will get attached to the the host network i mean it is these, these both are actually sharing the whole uh, network resource with the the host operating system okay this is the first which is a host host mode networking then another is a bridge mode in that case what will happen is you will see that we are going to have many containers right in that case docker multiple docker containers will create a docker bridge and from there these containers can also talk to one another that is called internal network they are creating that we will see in the docker compose where you have actually different docker containers which are actually creating a single uh, docker network or you can say network bridge where these containers can talk to each other and obviously the, these containers are accessible and these can also talk to the outside world so you will be exposing some port from these containers these ports will be accessible from the host operating system and this container will have their own ip is assigned okay so this is a, the bridge mode of uh, networking okay i think uh, now like you can just define what kind of networking you wanted to create docker run minus d if you want a host based then you can just specify that if you want a, by default it is a, a bridge mode networking i mean you are creating two containers it will actually create an internal network and both container will get ip assigned to this so that in that case you will get this kind of networking setup for the containers in the first one you will get the host based networking where this container will share the networking resource from the host system okay i mean these networking concepts are kind of common you can also look into the in depth about the docker networking but these are the very basics you should know now in future videos how these containers are actually talk to one another for that for multi container setup where you wanted to spin up multiple containers like node.js nginx uh, mongodb mysql rabbitmq you will put uh, all these things inside a docker compose file right and when you do docker compose up it, it will actually spin up all the containers in a default network or you can also specify a network under which you wanted to create them in that network they can talk to one another okay thanks everyone